I am here with Jeffrey Yohalem. He is the writer on a new Ubisoft title called Child of Light. Jeffrey, tell me, what is this game about? The game follows the story of Aurora, who is a uh, the child of a duke from 1895 Austria. And one morning she wakes up to find herself on this magical lost continent called Lemuria. And she has to recover the sun, the moon, and the stars in order to get home to her father. And they've been stolen by an evil queen of the night. But as she progresses through her journey, her goals change and she discovers that things aren't what they seem. Now when you say that things aren't quite what they seem, what do you mean exactly? At first, it seems quite clear what her quest is and what her goals are, but then things will get muddy and complicated. At the same time, she's in an epic world that's inspired by JRPGs and Eastern European fairy tales. You are the writer on the game, but you're also the co-creator on the game. Why did you want to make this game in particular? It's an opportunity to tell a new kind of interactive narrative because the JRPG rule set is about turn-based combat and leveling and developing skills and crafting. And so it becomes about creating a character that the player goes on this journey where they create themselves. And so in this case, Aurora is also creating herself and growing up and becoming someone new. And that journey is shared with the player. And so for us, the story is at the heart and gameplay, level design, art direction, music, writing, all serve that story. I understand there's also a big cooperative element to the game. Tell me about that. You can play the game alone as Aurora, no problem, but there's also a Firefly named Iniculus who Aurora meets at the beginning of her journey. And a second player can play on the couch co-op, so next to you as you play. The characters have different abilities. Igniculus can travel through the walls, Aurora cannot, and can shine to cause the enemies to cower or slow them down on something called the timeline in combat. And so both players have this experience where they have to talk to each other and figure things out and can navigate through the world together. No split screen, so it's the same immersive big experience. This sounds almost like an indie game. It sounds like something that three guys in a garage should be building, but obviously you have a huge team behind you here. Yeah, our goal is to do something that is mainstream. Although we're doing something very different than I think a lot of games, I think that we're trying to tap into universal truth and we're trying to speak about culture as a whole. Fairy tales are a distillation of ideas that are going around in society at the time. They help society deal collectively with the hardships of life. And so we are creating a modern fairy tale and one that we hope speaks to life today.